Here I'm going to show you how to uh, wipe your hard drive completely clean. I've already downloaded the uh, software onto this disk. Now we just got to start the machine and uh, tell it to boot from the disk. So power it up. You should be able to hit F2 and go into the uh, BIOS. Okay, now we're in the BIOS. It's very simple. Go to the boot screen. Uh, the boot priority. And the first boot device is going to be changed to CD DVD. Enter that. Escape F10 to save that. And we want to save our changes. This is going to ask if you want to uh, save it. That's yes. So, so what we're going to do now is put this, uh, run this disk. It'll start automatically. This 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 here is just to um, wipe your hard drive clean. If you want to uh, delete all your information permanently, so it can't be recovered, um, or if you want to install new software fresh, and uh, Windows 7 actually uh, will run over the previous OS and um, doesn't completely completely do a fresh install, even though it says it does. <clears throat> so here we're going to do um, enter for the uh, interactive mode. This is Derek's uh, uh, boot and nuke uh, software as you can see. It's pretty good stuff. I've used, I used this uh, several times. Works great. It will take some time depending on the uh, selection you take. I'll show you here in a second. Okay, great. So what we're looking at now is um, basically uh, I'm going to select Enter to select the uh, hard drive. It now it says Wipe on uh, that particular hard drive. Um, I'm going to select uh, M for method, and there's several methods here, uh, as you can see. Um, it, <laughs> it actually gets pretty, uh, pretty intense. It can take uh, anywhere from an hour and a half to uh, a day and a half. Uh, it depends on uh, <laughs> how paranoid you are or whatever. But I'm going to select the uh, uh, quick erase. And um, this here should take me about uh, an hour, maybe two hours. Um, so everything's selected. Uh, it, it says here, press F10 to start. F10 to start. And uh, it's on its way. It's going to give you a run time and um, about what it takes to, to complete this task. And it says that uh, there's an hour and 32 minutes uh, left to, to uh, wipe this drive clean and that's on a uh, 340 gig so let's uh, take a break and I'll get back at you in a little bit so here we are checking back in with you guys and uh, as you can see um, we're sitting at 82% uh, complete uh, the format part and looking at um, uh, almost two hours of runtime with a half an hour left, and that depends on um, a lot uh, solely on the speed of your uh, your computer. Uh, this laptop is working with a um, 2.53 uh, dual core um, with a uh, 1066 bus, and um, it's not too bad. It's fairly snappy for a uh, laptop. Um, and um, I'll check back with you guys a little bit. Okay, here we are again. Um, as you can see, the uh, process is now complete. So it took a little over uh, two hours, which is pretty good for the speed on this machine. Um, like I said before, there's a, there's a few different settings here um, to go from simple um, complete wipe, uh, which is number one that I used to uh, all the way to, to uh, you know, uh, government style um, wipe the disk in seven, eight different passes and uh, several different ways. And, but uh, this is this is pretty much uh, where the information can't be retrieved. Um, uh, for example, when uh, when you delete a uh, file on Windows, the uh, first couple characters on the file are wiped clean, but the file actually still remains on your computer—a picture, a credit card number, a document, whatever. So it can be retrieved uh, easily uh, with no problem. I've actually experimented with um, 
uh, several installs of Windows and gone back and retrieved um, the first copy of, of pictures and, and files uh, from the first install after like four installs of Windows. So basically, um, <laughs> you know, it's it's still in your machine. Um, for example, Windows 7 doesn't give you an option that I, I've seen to format the drive um, completely. Um, even though it says it's doing a quick format, it's really not a, it's, it's very uh, generic format. However, in Windows XP, you notice you can do a quick format or a, um, a long regular format. And a regular format in XP actually you wipe the drive uh, pretty decent. Um, Windows 7 is actually um, just running over the top of itself and saving settings and saving your files and all kinds of uh, you know stuff in there that's used before is being saved. So you're just running over the top of it and it's 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 replacing barely anything. So uh, just a, a quick install of uh, 7 over 7 is not doing any good. Um, and this program is a good way to completely erase and um, just get rid of files um, and keep your information secure. Um, just to keep your machine running straight, smooth, uh, you know, down the road, uh, a fresh install is, is the best way to um, get your machine back up and running, smooth, fast, and uh, regain all your resources. Alright, thanks. Talk to you later.